Hey everybody. Uh, try to fi fix this a little bit. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Mike Razor of the Lake Dawson Morning Show on YouTube. Uh, you can check us out at youtube.com forward slash Lake Dawson TV. Um, where we talk about real estate, real estate investing and growth excuse me <clears throat> uh, so check the, check the show out it's free subscribe uh, like all that good stuff um, and you know hopefully we'll see you soon speak to you soon you never know has a little bit of a delay on the video feed I'm trying to figure out if I uh, We'll see what happens. Anyway, once again, welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Lake Dawson TV Show. This uh, will also be on audio on podcast on Apple iTunes under the Real Estate Confidant. Uh, Real Estate Confidant. Uh, you could just, if you have iTunes, Apple iTunes, you could just go ahead and... Uh, just put in a search engine uh, the real estate confidant and the uh, podcast will pop up <clears throat> and that's also free the uh, the podcast is also free I do have a, I think there's a stripe account or something like that where you could give whatever you think is is a good amount 65 cents a dollar five dollars give a hundred doesn't matter uh, that way it'll allow me to fund this uh, this show it'll allow me to per uh, build and develop more of my books um, which I do have one called the 90 day blitz for re newbie real estate professionals on amazon.com right now amazon.com forward slash author forward slash uh, Michael racer m-i-c-h-a-e-l R A Y S O R. Uh, ooh, excuse me, I just ate. Uh, you could also find me on Instagram um, at uh, uh, Michael Razor, M I C H A E L R A Y S O R. Uh, and obviously, YouTube. Um, on Instagram, you'll find my link. If you click on the link, it'll give you all the. Uh, the websites, my my um, social media marketing website, my uh, property brothers online website, um, and ways that you could get in contact with me. <clears throat> you can also reach out to me on Instagram. Just click on the message, send me a message, uh, ask questions. No, it's all good. All right. So I already did my video for the day for YouTube. I sent that. Already sent that out. And I just have to uh, update it a little bit, but it, it should be up there. So when you get a chance, go ahead to YouTube, watch the video, and all that good stuff. Right now, today, I want to just uh, let you guys know that I'll be bringing on some uh, some new guests to the show. Uh, it won't be in this uh, in this space. It'll be in an actual studio in Brooklyn. Uh, trying to change the scenery uh, as we grow in the company as a whole to help you guys the real estate investors newbie real estate professionals and so on and so forth um, like I said before free content as always the book itself on Amazon does cost I think like seven dollars and ninety nine cents it's a quick quick read. I'm, I'm actually uh, writing part two to that book as well. But it's definitely something that's initiatory for you to begin your growth in real estate um, as an agent or as an investor, <clears throat> et cetera, et cetera. So the reason for the video for today is I just want to touch base with you all with regard to... Um, 
growing in the field of real estate and investing as a whole. And I, I just want to be clear that the process for becoming a real estate agent and an investor, they both are equally uh, are difficult. And, and, and I want to just first say, if you're already on a journey, continue to be on that journey. Continue to grow through that process if you really love to do it. If you're just lollygagging and you're just uh, making excuses, then you might as well not even go through that process, okay? Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, sometimes we get into a point where we become lackadaisical, and I understand that. We get drained. We get burnt out. There are times when we get burned out. It happens to us all. Well, what I want to say is, burning out doesn't mean quitting. If you've been burned out for the past two, through two or three months, then it's time to get up and get started again. Now, let me. This is what I I use sometimes. If I get burned out, I'm listening to what my body is telling me to do. Okay, I take time to myself, rest. Whether it's a month, two months, a week, two weeks, what whatever amount of time is required. But I take that time out until my brain begins to say, hey, you've taken enough time to rest. We need to get back on schedule. Okay? So what I do is to keep focus, I do two things, okay, in my career. As a real estate investor, as a real estate agent in New York City, this is what I do. One. You need some brain power because all your energy is gone. And 90% of your energy is used um, from your brain, okay? Unless you're like working out a lot, then, you know, that's a percentage is off by a little bit. But these, uh, I got some, um, first thing, there's, there's actually multiple things you could do. But to keep focus almost on a level of uh, that movie, uh, what's the movie called? Limitless. You want to get you something called OptiMind. Um, I'm not. I don't work for the company. I don't. I'm not a uh, marketer for the company or anything like that. But I'm going based off of uh, my experience with this product and the customer service um, that they have are uh, is impeccable. So. Um, it's 32 capsules. They'll give you a 10. I think they give you like five capsules free to try. And then after that, it's like, I think it's like, I don't know, like $10 or something like that, a bottle or $20 a bottle or something. But when you take this, um, it's going to put you so in a, in a focused mode so much so that you're going to get um, you're going to get everything done within the day. You definitely will. Even if it's boring, you're going to get it done. Um, but my suggestion, I'm going to tell you this right now. My suggestion is for you to get a pen and a paper before you take the medicine. Write down your to-dos or put it on um, this application that I, I, I recently got, which is called the To-Do, the To-Do app. Let me, I, I just want to make sure. Oh, it's the Do Now app. Um, you get the Do Now app from, it, it's on, um, what's it called? I'm like, it's on the Play Store. So you can get the Do Now app from the Play Store. They also have um, apps on Apple as well, the Apple Store, uh, that you could get to help you out. And what that does is when you implement, when you put in, plug in your to-dos, whether you have to write a script, whether you have to go to the gym, whether you have to wake up at a certain time, whether you have to clean up, go to the barbershop, restructure, I don't know, a car, engine, whatever it is you have to do, um, what it will do is it will give you a time frame to get it done and then it will tell you, hey, this is done. It's time for you move for you to move on to the next project, okay? Um, and what's going to happen is once you write that down, the the your to dos down. Once you put it on the app or write it on a piece of paper, um, and you take this OptiMind, what's what it's going to do is it's going to 
keep you laser focused. Uh, for example, if you needed, for example, you needed to uh, stay up late, you had a project to get done, and you just left work, but you want to accomplish your personal goals, and you want to get it done before you go to bed. You could take one of the pills, and it'll keep you um, focused and awake and ready to go. Um, there are other things you could do as well besides the OptiMind. Uh, you could go get vegetables from the store and like make a little smoothie, make a juice, um, uh, drink some coffee. Even though coffee, uh, from my understanding, coffee uh, dumbs down the brain power um, of the body. Uh, and, and my suggestion is if you want to strengthen that, go ahead and get you some uh Get you get some spinach, uh, get you some apples and or apple juice, and I'm I'm talking about fresh squeezed app, fresh pressed apple juice, and not from the bottle, and drink that down, and it's going to keep you awake. It's going to give you what you need. Okay. Um, so the other thing, I was lost track. I did it almost. Uh, the other thing you want to do and what's imp and, and what's important is if you're building a business if you're developing your real estate business or your new uh, you just passed your real estate um, exam you have to create a schedule you have to also create that to-do schedule um, this way you won't be distracted if you have a family you won't be distracted set time frames for you to accomplish your goals you do that, you'll be fine. Um, so let's focus on the real estate agent. Okay, you are a newbie real estate agent. You have just passed your exam. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, there was a young lady who, uh, a young, a young, uh, a gentleman who just uh, developed these flashcards that will help you uh, if you have not. Uh, uh, taking your real estate exam or you've uh, failed it um, I, I just um, what I'll do is I'll find out who it is again and I'll send that in but they probably there's probably a lot of different companies that do it um, and as a matter of fact if you all know any then just uh, plug it in and um, that way <clears throat> other people could could, uh, could be helped <clears throat> so first thing you want to do and this is my suggestion from my experience uh, being in real estate over 10 years uh, as a real estate agent and as an investor and having friends that are investors and agents uh, and all of us just learning from each other and growing from our experiences. Um, this is what my my honest suggestion would be for you to do. This is for a real estate uh, agent who uh, just passed their real estate license, uh, real estate exam they uh, are headed back to the office what do you do right um, and this is in my 90 day blitz book uh, to get you started on that process the most important thing for you to do at this point because you really don't know unless somebody's been teaching you what to do you really don't know what the next step is and you're gonna make a lot of mistakes especially if you're not from the state that you are um, an agent in or, uh, for example, you're working for a bigger company, not a smaller company. Like if you're working for a company, M&S or, um, or uh, uh, Douglas Elliman. Um, there, are, there are others, uh, but, you know, Brown Harris Stevens is another. But what do you do? So <clears throat> my suggestion is, one second, sorry about that. My suggestion is for you to, <clears throat> first, you have to start a marketing campaign, right? That's the very first thing. Go back to your job, go back to the sponsored agency, you know, clap hands, high five, all of that good stuff. Pay your revenue dues if the company is directly connected to revenue. Uh, I think that's about $300, uh, almost $400 a year. And then you have to get your business cards. Uh, most times the company you work for, will give you your business cards uh, so you just pay the money and then they'll go ahead and ship some give you the business cards for free some don't 
uh, and then what you want to do is uh, utilize the computer systems that they give you uh, some companies give you computer systems and sometimes they charge you uh, monthly fees to utilize their space and sometimes they don't it depends on what company you work for uh, so that's one thing uh, if you haven't already done so in terms of negotiating uh, your contract with that with that broker uh, on record but <clears throat> you want to do that and make sure it's a good company my suggestion from experience shop around okay interview with different companies um, if you if you have an inkling of a feeling that this the company is not working well for you find a, a company that does okay there's so many out there so so many great ones um, you know you you have I, I definitely have options the uh, second thing is you want to get with a team within the company okay you definitely want to get with a team with a broker uh, or um, who has uh, a track record for uh, selling properties or renting properties that you are interested in being a part of in terms of the market okay you want to make sure that is uh, uh, the mentor that you use to focus on where your growth comes in so you can ask questions send out emails find out who's looking for help um, even if not uh, stop some stop one of them and ask uh, the other thing you want to do while even while you're with this team is you want to begin to build your own uh, portfolio okay which consists of cold calling which consists of marketing yourself online um, the companies that you work for usually will um, will usually uh, give you um, tools uh, website uh, OLR they'll give you street easy they'll give you Sometimes they have their own system in play. Uh, Real TMX is one that you could also use, but sometimes they give you their own system. And what you do is you take that information and you, uh, you utilize it, you use the email they give you as a professional and you market yourself on Craigslist. You market yourself on their website. You market yourself uh, with the group's team that you're utilizing. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is begin to search for FSBOs, FSBOs that um, that are uh, for sale by owners that are in the neighborhood that you are focused on. Now that's the other thing which I didn't explain. You want to focus on a niche, a niche location. You don't want to be broad. You want to focus on a niche location. New York City, for example. We have Midtown West, we have Upper West Side, Upper East Side, we have um, Harlem, we have the Bronx, we have Brooklyn, we have, and different parts of Brooklyn, different parts of the Bronx, Queens, uh, Financial District in Manhattan. So it depends. So you want to uh, get a map. First thing you do, get a map. Look at the locations in the city. Find the space that you're interested in uh, selling or rent right uh, purchase the real deal or go to the real deal.com website and every morning read the real deal articles um, you could also purchase the yearly stats they have that on the real deal website um, and average purchase and sales in these specific areas in New York this is if you're in New York um, Otherwise, you could go to the county assessor's office and I believe you can get documentation and information regarding to purchase and sales in a spe specific lot and block area of the city that you live in. Okay, so the focal point is a specific neighborhood. If your neighborhood has a lot of homes, a lot of buildings, uh, then you can find rentals or sales in those locations. If not, then find another location and focus on that go out and look at um, rentals and sale properties uh, with other people uh, go to events uh, properties uh, like open houses and whatnot okay give uh, other agents your business cards they may call you and say hey I have a client do you have any property available um, you also in a lot of bigger companies they allow you to sell 
the properties that the um, the head brokers um, are selling without you being a part of their team so um, usually if that happens they require you to uh, negotiate your 50% um, uh, deal so negotiate with your commission with them okay whatever your negotiation is with the with the brokerage um, which is usually 50 50 uh, it could be 70 uh, percent to you also but it depends on that you have to show a track record usually of uh, sales and rentals um, to a higher capacity before they decide to renegotiate um, any any uh, sales with you um, what else so yeah you want to do that okay and and um, that's all I'm going to talk about with regard to being a real estate agent I want to get into being a real estate investor really fast and um, as a matter of fact real estate agents this is a good book for you all to have uh, if you all get a chance get the Frederick Eklund to sell I read this book about three times four times already and I listened to the audio book on audible uh, you could also get it on script if I'm not mistaken um, but uh, in terms of real estate investors okay as a real estate investor and you're new you're trying to figure out what it is that you need to do what's my first step as a real estate investor well what type of investing are you trying to do uh, right uh, so and then also too are you building a business uh, under that real estate investing which I, I, I highly suggest you to do uh, or are you just going out purchasing properties under your name um, and it's and, and all of them are going to be under insurance and all of that stuff so it just depends right so the first thing you want to do is uh, as an investor you want to make sure your credit is right that's that's number one if you plan on getting loans from banks um, or private private uh, hard money lenders um, they definitely underwriters they definitely look at your uh, track record the other thing is uh, you have to have if you're getting it if you're receiving loans from banks and underwriters usually they require you to have two years worth of uh, tax returns for from the company that you currently work for and make income from so they're gonna ask you for that if not if you're just getting out of college um, they request you to have uh, one sheet that says that you'll be making uh, a, a certain income this year guaranteed uh, so that'll be helpful as well um, a lot of people don't know that and this is the start this is this is so that you won't have to uh, get caught up with making the mistake of thinking that you don't need this stuff first if you have all cash if you have an investor that's willing to be the front person then you don't need all of that okay uh, because you uh, you are not utilizing other people's money you have your own okay uh, as an investor if you don't have sufficient income then um, it's always suggested to start off at ho in wholesaling wholesaling properties okay uh, this will definitely help but you have to have a, a start a business a legitimate business business cards uh, office spaces faxes machines all of that good stuff your own team and it um, and then uh, grow that way now I'm just summarizing here and I'll put more uh, videos up with regard to it you can go back to my other videos if you want to but this is something that's very important all right so uh, first check your check your credit go to myfico.com freecreditreport.com whatever you want to do check to see what your credit's looking like um, and then find out how you could increase your credit if you have dings on your credit how you could fix those things you want to get your score um, to at least you could, you could purchase your first property under FHA with the 580 credit score excuse me there are requirements with that but you could do that you could also purchase it uh, with the 680 700 750 but the better better your score is 
the lower your interest rate on the loan is going to be, which means more money in your pocket uh, when you have purchased and now are renting the property out. Okay, so this is definitely important. Hopefully you have a pen and a paper and you're writing this stuff down. Okay. Um, the other thing that you want to do is you want to, um, as a matter of fact, there is a company called We Management. Uh, if you go to We Management, it's it's owned and operated by a friend, um, Mr. Will Roundtree, uh, W I L L uh, Roundtree, and um, just send them a message. There there are uh, less expensive ways you could go to. Um, uh, what's it called? What's it, what is that thing called? Well, there, there are other ways for you to have your credit, you know, fixed and looked at and whatnot. But I personally worked with them, and it's worth every penny that you use. I'm telling you right now, and it's quicker. Uh, the process is a lot quicker than you going to the lower uh, priced uh, uh, companies. Not saying that they don't always do it slow, but trust and trust me I've dealt with both and it's better okay uh, he'll give you insight more insight and he'll email you uh, all the information that you need okay so um, you want to get that get your credit up to par um, and maybe you want to speak to a tax assessor um, uh, and have one on hand an accountant on hand see uh, you also have to have your a dream team. So that's the other thing. So while you're working on getting your taxes, I mean, your um, while you're working on getting your credit right, right, you want to go ahead and get your dream team together. Okay, your turn, your real estate attorneys. You want to get your accountant. You want to get your personal assistant. You want to um, start your LLC. You want to. Um, get your office space um, all those things are very important um, to help you out in the process of growth and as a real estate investor okay um, this is the beginning process if you have friends or family in real estate in the industry speak to them about it ask questions um, I'm sure they'll be interested in seeing where you go the other thing and this is my my personal suggestion is save money save money you're gonna need money regardless okay so say whether it's uh, $2,000, $3,000, $5,000, save money to have in the bank and put that money into a savings account because you're going to have to have a track record if you plan on um, a track record of leverage if you plan on purchasing your first investment property through the banks, okay, uh, and underwriters and whatnot, okay? Um, and then you have to also um, be mindful that there are also uh, there are also fees that you have to be ready to pay when you are interested in purchasing a home. First thing you want to do is get um, you want to get a a copy of your approval letter from the underwriter or from the bank. Um, you could go to Acre Mortgage, A-C-R-E Mortgage, if you're purchasing in New Jersey. Um, Acre Mortgage has helped me out um, a lot. And um, they walked me through the steps. They showed me what it was that I needed to do um, to uh, be approved. Um, they have FHA loans. They have uh, government-backed uh, grants. Uh, you name it. Uh, so that's acre mortgage um, and what you want to do is get the approval because what's going to happen is as a real estate investor now if you are an agent in Jersey then you have the list um, of real estate in in Jersey that will that you know that you can search for you don't need an agent to do it right but if you're not and you're just an investor then you, uh, you would get a real estate agent. And the first thing that they'll ask you for is, a, is an um, approval letter, right? To, um, that shows that you are serious and that you have been approved for purchase of however much uh, money the bank is approving you for to purchase. Um, doesn't actually mean that you 
will receive the funds. It just means that you've been pre-approved for receiving this amount as long as uh, everything goes through with the contracts and um, uh, your credit and all of that stuff. Uh, the other thing that you want to do, the other thing that you want to do is you once you have that, you want to uh, schedule an appointment to begin looking at properties. Now, it may take you some time. You may have to walk the streets. You may have to walk the, the neighborhoods that you're purchasing. Not maybe, but you will. And um, uh, get to know the neighborhood that you're purchasing. And you have to look at what your budget is. Look at what it is that you're actually interested in purchasing, whether it's single families or multifamilies, whether you plan on whether you, whether you plan on moving into the neighborhood. Um, and living in the investment property and then having someone move upstairs. Uh, whether you plan on having a three unit property or two unit with the storefront, it all depends. Um, all you people out there that, that always wanted to open up your own shop, your own store in the neighborhood, you could purchase a three unit property, a two unit with a storefront. Um, and you could uh, live in one unit, rent the other two units and then be the store owner of the shop that's directly connected to the building. Um, and now you not only own real estate, but you also could um, potentially hire someone to run the store that you that you own and work your nine to five. You know, if you have a nine to five, still working on a five until you develop the process to go to that next level and purchase the next property. Um, and um, the other thing is you have to set a plan of action, right? You definitely have to set a plan of action. Um, how many properties are you interested in purchasing? How much money do you want to make this year? Um, and what do you have to do to get that, to get to that point? Okay. Do you have to see two or three properties? Do you have to make more money at your job? Do you have to save more money from your job? What, what, it, what is it that you need to do for you to push to that next uh, level in success? Okay? So that's definitely, definitely, definitely important. All right? Uh, what, what I, I mean, I'm, I'm explaining this from personal experience. Um, it may take you some time. It may be a process. But I can tell you that in this process, it's going to be well worth it in the end, okay? Um, some of you may be interested in building, uh, what's it called? Building your family legacy. So this may be an option for you. Uh, building real estate, building wealth through a family, a family legacy, you know? Uh, creating a trust, which is another thing. Um, you know, when you purchase your first investment property, you have to know to put a land trust on it. You have to know to put it under a, a, an LLC and um, create the S corporation. This way you separate church from state. You separate your funds from the prop from the actual property. This way you could pay uh, whoever you need to pay in terms of like management or um, uh, family members to <clears throat> keep the property up and running. Um, that kind of thing, okay? It doesn't matter. Um, and then you move on to the next and the next. And then you might even want to begin working with uh, other groups uh, on real estate trust. That may be the first thing you want to do to start off because you uh, your credit's not right uh, at this time. But you're like moving forward in the, in the success level. So what do you want to do? So you what you do is you go ahead and sign up for a real estate trust like the Tulsa Real Estate Fund um, or buy, buy the block um, or um, Fundrise or, you know, any one of those um, where the minimum um, starting shares is $100 um, or $500, okay? And then you could move forward from that. Um, you, you could also do what Jay Getty did. Um, you should pick up the book, um, the Jay Getty book. And he had a trust for his family, and he was he was real frugal with his money, um, the oil tycoon. So he, he was real frugal with his money, but what, no, what nobody knew until after he passed away was all the riches, all the wealth that he had, was he was hoarding all of that stuff for this um, nonprofit trust, that he a family trust that he developed 
so that when he passed away, his family be, would be secured. But he never told anybody until after he passed and the attorney arrived with the will and, um, and you know, and in the will, it had the trust. Okay, and all of his assets, his paintings, his million dollar paintings, his house, his uh, investments, his oil company, all those things were transferred over to his family. Okay, so when you grow in business, uh, whether you're a real estate investor or a real estate agent, understand you are on a track record to uh, rebuild and redevelop yourself. Now, uh, going back to a real estate agent, I'm going to, I'm going to, just give you a forewarning. You're going to want to, when you get your first check, uh, as an investor too, uh, but when you get your first check, you are going to want to spend that money. You are going to want to go on a vacation. You are going to want to, even as a, a just a business owner in general, you are going to want to have a good time because you worked hard for it. I understand that. You're going to close uh, two or three rentals and you're going to get a check for seven or ten thousand dollars, twelve thousand dollars. You're going to pay the uh, office that you work for, the brokers that you work for, and then you're going to be left with, you know, 3500 um, And if you have a regular nine to five, you're definitely going to want to relax and have a vacation or something like that because to the, at that point, that's excess cash. But my suggestion is at least put 10% away of that total um, cash that you receive from commission, okay? Whatever commission you make, put 10% away. And the second thing, excuse me, the second thing that you want to do is do your taxes. You don't want to wait. <clears throat> excuse me. You don't want to wait to do that. Go to the to your tax repair or accountant. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have a friend that's in, that uh, owns an accounting firm. I think for small businesses, it's about $135 a, a month. Go ahead and um, send your information to them, allow or H&R Black, whatever you need to do. Go ahead and um, do your taxes for that for that money, okay? Or, or what you could do is just um, separate the fund. Separate what the, what, however much the tax is going to be on that from um, everything else, okay? Um, so this is this is very important because what's, you don't want it to catch up to you in a, a year or two years after, and they find out that you haven't paid you know your taxes. You don't want that to happen. Um, the uh, and that's 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 very very important. If you're gonna do business, do business well. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's gonna be. The show for the day. Once, once again, if you guys want to pick up my book, it's the um, 90 Day Blitz for Real Estate uh, Professionals. Uh, you can get that on Amazon, Amazon.com, um, and you can just type in my name, uh, Michael Razor, uh, um, Amazon.com forward slash author forward slash Michael Razor. Uh, last name spelled R A Y S O R, um, and Hey, hopefully it helps you out. Uh, I'm going to be doing more of these videos like I've always been doing. And you know what? Success is key. Okay? We, uh, we have the opportunity and we live in an, America, uh, um, an amazing um, society. So let's take advantage of the opportunities that we have and let's succeed together. All right? I'll talk to you all later. You all have a wonderful evening.